All right, guys, unboxing time. Steinhardt. So this is one that I actually bought on my own. Make sure I don't show that. Um, I picked it up on eBay because this particular model is sold out. This was a um, special, like exclusive to OKLO. Oh, is it Okla? Oklo or something like that? Um, but I'm not sure how many they made, but it's the 39, the Steinhardt Ocean 39 GMT. There's some extra links, so we'll have to probably get the size, but awesome seller on eBay, great communication, fast shipping. Um, watch looks good from the first glance here. I don't see anything. Yeah, he said it was like new and it's basically like new. I don't see any problems, but get a look at that thing. Uh, 42, I think, is too big because they had a 42 millimeter. Then they came out with a 39, and most of the 39 millimeter options out there are like a vintage loom looking one. But this OKLO, right? Am I saying that right? No, O L K O, excuse me. O Olco, something like that. Um, they did, uh, they spec'd it out for their special edition run with full white. I like this look. This looks really good. So there's the. Watch, it looks like the hands lined up pretty close. Might be a little off, but it's pretty close. Close enough for who it's for. Um, let's take a look, see what it looks like up at the 12. He's got the hands already set for me here. Oh yeah, they line up good. Okay, so just love the look of this. Uh, my only gripe with Steinhardt is, well, two things really. One, you know, let's, you know, let's curve the case a little bit more. And then two, the uh, Cyclops, the date magnifier, is like not really a magnifier. It's like one or one and a half times or something um, instead of being like a two and a half times. And I don't know, I feel like they could do a better job with the date magnifier, but uh, still a great looking watch. So I'm not mad about that at all. I don't know if I'll be able to get it on wrist. Uh, I will not be able to get it on wrist. So let me size it real quick because I think you're going to want to see this on my wrist because it might be like a week or so before I can get the video out, so hold on. All right, guys, I'm back. There it is on my wrist. Uh, I just did a quick, I just threw a couple links in, uh, so I don't know if I have the clasp exactly where I want. I'll probably, you know, adjust things around a little bit, but I wanted to just do a quick uh, adjust and get it on wrist. <sighs> I'm digging it. I know it's uh, definitely a strong homage, and that's what Steinhardt is known for. I'm okay with that when it's done like this. This is a model, this is a representation of a model that is like way, way far removed from the brand um, that it's, you know, pulling from. So uh, it's it's okay to do that because it's not like I can go get a brand new one of these from that brand. I don't know, that's how I justify it, whatever. It's still really cool. Uh, if you can get these, I, th I don't know what the price point is. I'll have to cover that probably in the main video. But, I don't know, this thing is just so dang cool. Let me know what you think. I'll try to do a full video as soon as I can. If you have questions, go ahead and sound off. The bracelet is great. The screw links are really good. I did notice, like, a little bit, of, like, if we zoom in. Um, so, again, you're buying used watch, right, guys? And the... Can you see that? Why is it not focusing? Focus. Okay, see the scratches? That's just, you know, uh, he had probably had the wrong size screwdriver, was in a hurry, or didn't just have a good enough light and uh, optics. Um, that's really common to see on a used watch when it's being sized up. Uh, it, it doesn't bother me. Uh, if it bothers you, then those are things that when you're buying a used watch, you're really going to want to ask, you know, detailed questions. Are, the, are any of the links scratched up from sizing? And then have him provide pictures and stuff like that. I didn't ask that because he basically said the watch was in perfect shape. And the pictures that I looked at confirmed that. I, I'm not going to get worried about that. I have no problem with that. That's not a big deal to me. Because uh, it just isn't. To me, it doesn't bother me. To you, it might. But those are things when you're buying a used watch to just kind of look out for. But legit, good seller. It was a good transaction. I paid more than I, I certainly wanted to for a Steinhardt. But 
after a quick research, I found this particular model was the one I wanted, not the one that is available like on Steinhardt or Noman or whatever like that. This one is the one I wanted to try. So take that for whatever it's worth too. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.